from Sable. I do not know what possessed my damn brother to host a fucking Minecraft server on a night where I'm working, but God fucking forbid, right? Like, if you're doing that, like, get to work on getting the internet upgraded. Everyone's using the internet more and more and more in this house, and we don't have something that's stable for me streaming, hosting a Minecraft server, and doing video calls all at the same time. We need we need better internet. Right, okay. Uh, no dungeon, only trial next, and invite for it. You're on Garuda now. Hells yeah. Okay. Redania. Let's go. Fry serious gets unlocked after uh after fifty. The armor looks snazzy. Yeah, I put I put a uh, bone on it so it's like blue and white. But it's all right. It's not the best. I appreciate you giving me the armor though. Thank you. Oh yeah, I can't fucking drive there. It's worth some of the guild for some of the high quality items. Oh, nice. Gotta finish the main storyline quest, then you can lock uh, Fire Cities. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, Gallander. Anyway, how's your how's your day been going, Gallander? Hopefully you've been well. Hopefully you've been uh, enjoying yourself. This dungeon is rough. Yeah, we can handle it. I've gotten used to my, my hot bar, so I'm certainly up for the challenge. I've done it twice and didn't like it. Wow. Greetings and salutation, Miss Suika, I presume? Selena, uh, uh, Siana informed me of your adventures in Aleport. Terribly sorry for the misunderstanding. Though, as Professor Lambert is fond of saying, no action in the name of science is ever truly wasteful. To the matter at hand, corrupted crystals possessing the, pr the properties you see can be found in abundance at the standing co uh, courses of throughout the calamity. Alas, that is no longer the case, and well, where there is at least one suitable crystal that remains to be found in the Twelves Wood, precisely where it is, and at any given moment, it will be difficult to say. Permit me to explain. You're forgiven. You're familiar with Spriggans, yes? The little furry rascals that won't, the that are wont to seek out ores and other stones. Well, such creature with an infamously appetite, uh, insatiable appetite, has single-handedly devoured every crystal in the Twelves Wood. Unfortunately for you, these crystals take an eternity to digest. Assuming they can be digested, and I'm reasonably confident that one still resides within his gut. Quite fascinating, really. My theory is that this Giggity first consumed a corrupted crystal when... Ah, uh, you can care less about this, wouldn't you? At, at, to the point. Giggity seldom seldom make, their, make his presence where there is a particular fine fodder to be had. Therefore, we shall require a lure, and I have precisely the sword which you find impossible to resist. Simply place his his true heart. I should give this say the story of his origin as unusual name for such a occasion. Outside the spriggan slayer, and wait for the opportune moment for it to pounce. As for the method you would retrieve the crystal from his gut, I shall leave that to your discretion. All right, good. I remember when a time when Pharaoh Sirius was current content, and you had to farm it for the gear. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Use the true heart to lure out the crystal bearer. Over there, eh? Let's we'll start from the meadows and just charge our way over there in our bike. It shouldn't take too long. I'll meet you there. Hell yeah. Oh, nope, we gotta go up and around. Six and a half years ago, basically, or something like that. Well, assuming this is quite nostalgic for some people, 
especially uh, who have been chilling around my channel, who have been playing this game for like years and years and years, and then you see me just jump on it and being like, oh, I've got all this knowledge to help you. Which I do appreciate, Chad. Thank you. But seriously, what the fuck was my, my brother thinking? Fucking hosting a Minecraft server while I'm goddamn working. Are you fucking serious, bro? Like, like why would you do that? You absolute dumbass. I didn't know any better. He's just deliberately trying to piss me off. Can't wait for Friday when I finally get this, this month's paycheck, then I'll be broke shortly after. Such is life, man. Such is life. He's a brother? Yeah, yeah. Where do I need to put this thing? Further ahead. Did I pass it? Oh, I gotta go further down. Crystal bearer. Oh, he's a fat boy. Deliver the corrupted crystal. This is the wrong crystal again, isn't it? Son of a bitch, keep aggroing friggins. Damn, two spells and you just murder them. The art 54, so I guess that's to be expected. Also, 150 euros in debt to a friend. I had an outstanding bill from that year that had to be paid, and it had to be paid by the, the 21st, so I had to borrow some money to make that happen. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. That, that sucks, man. Level 54 with a full 130 set. Yeah, and it's not even your main either. What is your main death layer? I don't think I've ever, ever asked you. I don't think I've ever asked you what's your main, man. Paladin, highest geared. Ah, I gotcha. Highest geared, highest level? Pray don't sneak up on me like that. I was well engrossed in. Wait, what is that? What's that god awful smell? Corrupted crystal. A breathtakingly beautiful crystal. See, my su uh, superstition was not mistaken. So you also weren't advised digging through the spriggan entrails for your prize. We are furry friend, a great of attitude, you know? This thick coating of digestive juice is protecting us from the harmful effects of the crystal, just as the warding plot you did once did. Why look so gone, friend? You've obtained the corrupted crystal you've you sought after. An overthrowing earth aspect aether. Calm down, calm down, I jest, I jest. It's combined of ice aspected aether, worry not. I suppose the joke was in pro taste, considering your two previous attempts were for naught. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Idian has neglected to return your crest to return you and your corrupted crystal. Very important, so you can't forgot to return you to your crystal. Oh, and there was a message for you from uh, Professor Lambert. Something about a man named Marcus? Apparently the professor miss, uh, misses the intellectual stimulation. Forgive me, I should have written it down. It occurs to me that I've yet to ask you why you need that crystal. 
You aren't planning on doing anything nefarious, would you? It would reflect poorly on me and my research was used for evil ends. Ah well, perhaps it's best I remain ignorant. And to become the professor's greatest people were filling the head with unnecessary information. Deliver the crystal to Sid. And he is just over yonder. Are we lazy enough to teleport? Yes, yes we are. Paladin and white mages, your cap, your jobs are at cap. Ah, oh, cool. All right, let's go stop by Sid. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, look at that dark knight. Oh. What on earth is that? What in the, what the, f I, I gotta see, what is this? What sword is that? Woolborn Recollection. Level 80 Dark Knight, max level. A relic weapon. It does seven times the amount of damage my weapon does. Seven times. Strength is astronomical. Vitality, astronomical. Tenacity, astronomical. Crit, astronomical. My god. That sword is a level 60 artifact. I think the armor is level 70 artifact gear from Eureka. Thank you. One day, Suika. As you gaze with all gaze over there at this ridiculous badass looking dark knight this will be you one day sweetheart this will be you you'll cast away your pathetic paladin ways and embrace the true strength that is dark knight look at that fucking sword that's dope as shit you get a clap Holy crap, man. Such a cool sword. Such an unbelievably cool sword. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I've got the right way. As soon as he hits his uh, HW, he's one with the Dark Knight. Damn right I am. Damn right I am. No, that's not what I want to do. Wait, how do I get to sit? Let's go up and around. Fuck, how do I get down there? <laughs> How do I get down there? I don't know. Oh, it's all to you. My bad. Brain cells weren't working, chat. Forgive me. Brain cells weren't working. Dark Knight 30 to 50 storyline is fucking amazing. Got it. I'm goosebumps thinking about the memories of it. Oh, cool. I look forward to it. I look forward to it, chat. Hopefully you guys will be there with me for it. Hey Sid, I got you the thing. All repairs and modifications have been made. Suika, once you bring in the crystal, nothing will stand as between us and Garuda. I need to run some tests to be sure, but that's looks exactly what we need. Worry not, Suika. I'll, I'll see that your hard work does not go to waste. Yeah, right in Titan's Empire. Absolutely. The Enterprise is already more than a common ship, but mark my words, soon it'll be something greater, something extraordinary. This, this is me. This is what I was born to do. Sick. Gold Croin. Gotta look at her. I feel like I've come home. I can think of no other way to express it. 
With says modifications installed, the Enterprise can finally make their way to the journey to the Hallowed Eye. Our confrontation with Garuda is imminent. According to my test, the, the device is now fully functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal, meaning we can leave whenever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot say if this will work. I think it's only fair to tell you there's a small but significantly significant, but a s statistically significant chance that the crystal could trigger a massive. Uh, maybe it's better if we remain positive. Suika, I want to thank you for reuniting me with my ship, for entrusting me in this, to develop this plan for everything. You've, you've helped me rediscover a part of myself that I've forgotten. I'm not the man I once was, and I don't know if I'll ever shall be, but I do know one thing. This feels right. My apologies for our sudden outpouring of sentiment. I should have waited until after the mission, but, well, you understand. It is time, chat! It is time! <sighs> there. She's ready. Oh, looking fancy now. Don't touch me. After the real said, yes, yeah. and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Ikuzo. Engage. Activate space thrusters. Well, not space thrusters, but that's still pretty fucking fast, though. <laughs> Just imagine slapping him the hard way, missing me with that gay shit. <laughs> His third eye is open. Damn it. Huh? Uh, I, I once flew in this airship, and I was not alone. Oh? There were adventurers on board. Adventurers like you. Oh, cool. The echo is kicking in. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? It arrives with the fastest airship, and this is flashbacks to 1.0. Yeah. I guess as much. He's a small! <laughs> yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. The young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? What?
Nani? You abandoned us all, but he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Sid was working with the enemy? Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Ah. Sparklies. Sparklies? Nani? Biggs and Wedge, yeah. Oh, it's me. Why was it me? Ah, yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I had forgot that light. It was you, wasn't it? I got no clue about that. It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. Enterprise was made for this to carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Eh. Hey. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphinord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. Everything. Yeah! My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. Hell yeah! Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. Let's go! Into the eye of the storm. Said, come heaven's sword? Yeah, heaven's ward, yeah. I'm already enjoying everything right now. Oh, hello. Ah, Finald? All of her efforts, all of her avails, it was all for this. Be ready, Suka, for the end is nigh. Beat his over our own. It is time for battle! The Howling Eye. With the aid of the Enterprise and its legendary captain, Sid Garlanald, you have broken through the swirling winds and the, sh the shield the Howling Eye. Yet the challenges you have surmounted pale in comparison to the ones that await you beyond the gates. Long at last, the end is nigh, be it Garuda's or your own. My boy. Senpai, are you willing to help us with this duty? Do you wish to partake in this battle? 
Yes. Very well. TL Telefall. Welcome to the party. I'll be doing tank because that's all I can do appropriately right now. Oh, that's Stone Vigil. Withdraw, withdraw. My bad. My bad, that's Stone Vigil. I want the Howling Eye. The Howling Eye. I'm glad that there's people in chat that really enjoy my stream and really want to play this with me. I'm appreciative of that. Thank you, guys. Is that Garuda? She kind of bad though. Who dares intrude upon my sanctuary? The insolence shall not go unpunished, Landwalkers. She kind of bad though. Not gonna lie, she kind of bad though. Full preserve. She's, she's huge. As I live and breathe. The Exile over there. Look. What the heck? Oh. I'm in Gila and Cobble prisoners, but why would the Exile bring them here? Where, at, where forth have you come, foolish mortals? Garuda, we have come to put an end to your reign of terror. Hear you this blasphemy, my children. These landwalkers would bring me low. You, are, you who are bound to crawl upon the earth should revere me, for I am the wind. Did we not take to the skies, slip through your defenses? You are bit by nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? It will not help you, Landwalker. This is my realm, for none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle, though, as you may, I shall take the roots with your blood and cast funny the can can't be with your entrails. Oh boy. Slay the unfeathered ones, shall we? As an offering to Garuda, we will serve. Leave the Exile to us, Suika. We'll keep them distracted while you deal with her. Do not fail, Suika. Remember, you fight for the Scions for Erosia. Let's go, Garuda. Yeah, big bitch. This worm would die by mine own hand. Come then, I shall grant you what you seek. <laughs> Impressive, I gotta say. Oh, that music, though. All right, you big bitch. Let's do this. Team is balling, gotta say.
boy. Break. Come on, you big bitch. Yes, let's go. I've won the hells. This is my realm. You have no hope in here. None. Do you truly think you can defy a god, Landwalkers? What is this? Oh, they're like praying or something. She's drawing strength from them. My power is limitless. My children legion, and they've rendered me onto me a wealth of crystals. Their gifts sustain me. Their faith empowers me. None, none save my children will escape my reckoning, mortals. And for those who use my crystals to waken the rest shall realize their folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none by me, the one true God. Of course, worship. As long as the ex will keep praying, she will never fall. Then let's stop them. Oh boy. No harm will come to you, my children. It's all the beginning, Line Walker. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next, their stone and shield will not shield them from the tempest. And then I'll take on the vengeance on the sea lice. The wooden boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals, for I will visit you all in time, and all shall be mine. You landwalker who dare to raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay your sins, not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, landwalker, to your last breath. Not gonna happen. No, I should have claimed you. You should be mine. I have the crystal. Wait, what? We're tempered by the echo, yeah. We're like, nah, bitch, we get we got five crystals. Our five crystals beats your one crystal, actually. It's about time to count, you dumbass bitch! Finally, I've collected all the Chaos Emeralds! All the Chaos Emeralds are mine! What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This 
This is impossible. Get slapped, Garuda, ya bitch. Thanks for the help, friends. Garuda has been slapped. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it. Because we're Sonic Heroes. Ah, impossible it is. Kill you all. Is that all? Oh no. Oh lady of the vortex. Oh mighty Garuda. No. Stop it. Primals, the most terrible, I say again. Is that all? Gaius. What does oh, Gaius I want? See, my boy, you look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country. I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. No, don't up one. Don't one up, my boy. <laughs> He's just gonna Iron Man shoot them all with, like, laser guns? What on earth? Y'all OP! Hacks! Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! <laughs> Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags! Ah, it hurts us so, the pain! No! What is she? Twelve preserve. She cannot mean to. Ifrit? Titan? Oh boy. No. No, this is all wrong. Stop gopping, boy. We must run. Everett looking ballin' though. Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. Is it time for fusion? I think it's time for fusion. What is that? Bear witness to the glory of the Empire. What on earth? What? Holy. That's an Ultima weapon. It is you who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. 
Jeez. Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Well, goddamn. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. I would rather not find an ultimate weapon who feasted in all the primals of the source. Yeah, you're telling me. Twelve, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys. Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side. For the time. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. Ultimate weapon and ultimate ref and uh, ultimate refrain merely feasted on the most powerful versions of Garuda, Titan, and Ifrit. Yeah. The bad guys in this are fucked up. They don't even try and kill you. Yeah. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Well, they need someone to report um, how the the primals have been consumed. That's the Let reason why we live. Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. Waxy, the darkness is consuming me. It is a good pain. Whoa. The darkness is consuming me. That experience I'd rather not have again. Something has been troubling me, Suika. Shortly after the Black Wolf took center stage, when Garuda attempted to claim you as her own, I could have sworn I saw... Ah, but I may have mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye is apt to be misread by even the most inquired mind. inquiring mind. I forget I mentioned it. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion, we may consider the matter of the Primals closed until further notice. No Beer's Triumph will, will dare summon their gods so long as that weapon exists. Truly, a more effective deterrent I could not imagine. It seems almost a shame to plot its destruction. Still level 26. Got a while to go. Off and all is ready to return to the wait though the waking sands. Cannot equip to head. Pass. Try on, does it look stupid? Yeah, it looks stupid. Fuck that. Where did the other level 20 go? Yeah, you're telling me. 
It's past the time we return to the Waking Sands. To leave our headquarters in disrepair any longer would dishonor the memory of those who fell there. We have been brought to our knees, but we will rest, rebuild, and rise once more. Thankfully, I still have some of these. And any time I get to ride my bike is a good day. But first, let's sell a few things. Yeah, all these weapons are level 22. They're not going to be any use to me. However, I do want to sell some of my coin purses. That's a casual 50 50k. Because I just haven't been selling them. A casual 50k in coins because I've not been selling them. Back to here we go. Here we are again. This is where our friends died. This is where all of our friends died. Off and old. Tell me, Suika. Does aught here strike you as odd? I see signs of recent habilitation. Could it be that we're trespassers? Mayhap it's my imagination. Come, let's go into the the, the solar. Well, I'm gonna take a guess and say Yosh, uh, Yosh, Yoshta has been here, because she was not present when this place got got smacked. Wait. Not Yoshta. Oh, hello. Yada, who goes there? No, no. Yada, is that any way to greet a friend? Offenold, Suika. Sid, wait, is that a dream? Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while, Yada. Oh, Ida, sorry, thank you. Ida, thank you. Thank you, chat. I don't want to believe it. I was sure you'd been. This place has seen better days. Uh, you know, I actually wasn't here when... I was still in talks at the adder's nest. The first thing I knew about was when I came back and and I saw Ida. The church has taken care of the bodies, but still the stains. It it was hard for me to know when to start. If Yishtola had been here to help me, I Yishtola is here too? Yes, but she's not here right now. She's gone to Ulda to meet a man who might know what happened to the others. Papalimo and Minifila weren't among the dead, according to the church. Ishtola still thinks they were taking some taken somewhere. On well, the orders of the Black Wolf, no doubt. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that can be brought brought to bear against the primals. One that Gallius has yet to harness. The Echo. Gaius is aware as will be aware of his existence as well as the immunity it grants the gifted to the primal's influence powerful though Alleg Alleg that his Allegan weapon may be he would be doubtless he would doubtless desire such protection he means to use minfilia to gain an understanding of the echo none of which explains how the empire came to know the location of the waking sands in the first place yeah how did they learn about this place they should have had no idea no matter the empire has shown its hand and now we must act it is up us up to us to rebuild the scions and save erosia can i count on you Ida? what oh yes yes of course whatever you need We can discuss our next move upon Yishtola's return. For now, I say we rest.
hear, feel, think. I'm in the darkness again. Waxy, help me. Meteor. Yes, that is me. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. I like the rhyme. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. She's whole again. Hearken unto me now, for the darkness doth begin to spread. Wear thee the bearer of the crimson brand. For he is the avatar of shadow, whom death attendeth always. The crystals shall be thy salvation. I can't deal with the bot thy right blade now. And shield both. We need more mods in chat anyway. Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour, thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. If anyone wants to be a mod in my chat, no let me know. Caution, my child. But fear not, for I am ever with thee. Thank you, Crystal Mommy. I appreciate that. Hey, you're Stola. Suika and Athanald are safe. And and Sid. That we five should meet each other thus defies a simple explanation. It's as if the benevolent hand of Master Louis Luixio Oh uh, Louis Louis Eu uh, Luisio still guides us still. He would not have um, have us undone so easily. Not now when the seat the when our need is so great. Louis Swa, thank you. Thank you, chat. I appreciate that. I know when Minfili and the others are being held. Where? An imperial stronghold in the heart of Mount Dor N Dona. Castrium Centauri. Oh boy. Louis Swa, it's French, thank you. I appreciate that. My pronunciation is gonna be awful until chat teaches me, so keep me up with the teachings. Right, first of all, this bot needs to be banned. Boom. Uh, and seeing as General Senpai was so kind to volunteer himself, you can be a mod, good sir. Y'all y'all been chilling in my chat. I know you I know you, we've chatted. We've done many things together. So I am more than fine with making you a mod, man. All right, that should have done it. Hopefully, uh, I trust you will not abuse that power. Shola wishes to to dis to discuss the fate of the prisoners being held at Castrum Centauri. Oh boy, the rescue of allies will be no small undertaking, Suika. Even under normal circumstances, breaching the defenses of an imperial Castrum would be a highly dangerous proposition. But now that the Castrium Centauri houses prisoners whom our Garleen deem valuable, we may be confident they've been taking additional measures to ensure the stronghold's security. If we are to free our friends, we will we will require us an effective strategy. And if, we are and if we are formulate an effective strategy, that requires intelligence. I believe I know a man who may be able to assist us. Lord Portalain of House Dur Durind Durindary. He is stationed at the Observatory in Corthus. Let us go to him and beseech his aid. Back to Corthus we go. Hell yeah. Luckily for me, 
We've already made we've already made pretty high friends in Core of Us. So our time spent there was actually not in vain. This way direction. Soon we shall be at level 50. With that great power. Scooby the Doobie. Hey chat, look at Scooby the Doobie. I applaud you with the name. I appreciate that. Scooby the Doobie. People have some cool names, yeah. Meanwhile, I've just named my uh, my character after my channel mascot, Suika. But I'm not commissioning any art of her to be made until we uh, until we get Dark Knight and Truka's true, for true form is revealed to us. She's a paladin now, but deep within her heart, the death of her comrades. At the uh, at the waking sands, has uh, has bothered her and scarred her tremendously. Mine is just Ange Angeliki Grey Wolf. It's not a bad name, actually. I'm assuming he's at the very top, right? No, I'm smoking crack. Down we go. He must be at the ground floor. Or I'm stupid and he's not in the here entirely. He's elsewhere. Because I'm stupid and I don't know how to use the zoom function. YOLO. You're not the right person to talk to. Wait, hold on. Port of Fear? There are places that only an adventurer may illume. May illume. Illume. Sir Kalalot is going to point the way to once his pearl. I mean, guess that's a dungeon mission. I heard of your doings, and I think you're the one for this task. The west here is Derumal Der Der Darkhold. It was meant to keep a new a new keep of Lord. The new keep of Lord Duzamal. They were a friend to us, Durinair. And Durinair, but for the mansions and carpenters complete the work within the caves. Hordes of, of void scent appeared and drove them out. In the years since, the creatures have desolated their presence. As of such, I, I officially petition your assistance in reclaiming Darkhold. All arrangements have been made. You only need to to give your assent. Speak to Sir Ophelia and the Ingress if you wish, if you're with us, and she'll tell you what you need to know. I assume that's another optional dungeon. Asuka, the woman who who unmasked the heretic in her midst. What I owe the pleasure of your company. You're an asso associate of Ustola? But of course, Lord Dur Durlamont confided in me that you were a scion of the Seventh Dawn. Go on, first please. The name TL is actually from an OC that I meet is that is a barkeeper and poison dealer. Oh, cool. Castrum Centauri? What interest have you have you all in in, in the Imperials? They held a significant number, uh, uh, several of our number, who we intend to free. Any information you could provide would be graciously appreciated. I see. That explains our scouts' reports. They organized four prisoners being led into the castrum. One Har Har Harun woman, an Elzer Elzerin man, and two Lalafels. One, fail, one male and one female. It's them. It's Minif Minifila, uh, Ur Uranger, Uri Anger. Palimo and Tataru. If the scat, if that scat morsel is used to you, maybe also interested to hear about a more recent incident. Incident? An Imperial airship made an emergency landing here in Corthus not long ago. Two men were believed to be prisoners. A, rog a Rogadian and a Lalafell were seen fleeing the cart. What did you say? 
a Ro a Ro Gadian, and a Lalafell Master Master Garland. Neither wore Imperial dress, and it seemed they were disinclined to wait for the rescue. And it's our assumption that they were prisoners. Well, I'll be damned, it's Biggs and Wedge. Trust those two rascals to escape. We must find them, Suika, and soon. The Imperials will not rest until they are captured or killed. And if Biggs like you were given the choice, I fear you would take the latter. Freeing those held in Castrium Centauri will require substantial planning and preparation. As such, it is an endeavor that will admit some slight delay. The matter of the escapees, by contrast, will not. Shortly after the prisoners vacated the airship, our scouts observed Imperial troops setting off in pursuit. It's likely only a matter of time before they'll catch them. If you wish to see your comrades again, best act now. If, as I've suggested, the Garlands took our fellow Scion prisoner in the hopes of understanding the Echo, it seems reasonable to assume that they will not be executed until such a time as the study is complete. But Biggs and Wedge are not Scions, nor do they know aught of the Echo. As Lord Portolini said, this may be our best, our, our only chance to rescue them. I say we seize it. Thank you, everyone. You won't regret this. Excellent said. We will make our way. Oh, I know the bitch on the right. She's the one that murdered all of her friends. She's do a thorough fucking thrashing. By yours truly. I now only wish that I hadn't switched to Paladin from Monk, because I want to beat our senses with my own goddamn hands. We're not switching. But it would be cathartic as hell. Final preparations are almost complete, my lord. There stands the cult cul culmination of five years of long, painstaking work. But all of her efforts will be vindicated when the Emperor's vision becomes a reality. At last, we have the power to purge the land of its false gods. We shall give the ignorant children of Erosia and the, the security and stability they so desperately crave, and with their spineless leaders that have so palpably failed to provide. It is as you see, my lord. Rest assured, our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and operational. Right, Atene. We depart for the Castrum Ossidians at midnight. You will command the Western Front of Villabrand. The Erosians will not attempt to interfere with our, our plans. You will see that they do not. My lord, if this is your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my ability. I live only to serve the Empire. Yet, forgive my impotence. But is it proper to give command to half of our forces to a- I have given you nothing, Prefectus. You earned it. That will all- that'll be all. Dismissed. Yes, my lord. Is he a traitor? My quarters. One hour. For what? They gonna fuck or something? I don't know. We are level 27. Time, time to make more garlings, apparently. Hi, Mithril. Now that is even better than the goddamn paladin armor that I've got. Interesting. Although, I assume that the Paladin armor that I currently have has bonuses when you have the in full set, correct? Or does it not? Tell me, chat. My purpose here is to re reconnoiter Garlene activity along Alba Albathia's spine. Going to this, I have the honor.
Oh, baby. Hello, everybody. Be back. Thank you for waiting. Appreciate it. Ow. Got a little bit of trap gas or something, chat. Feeling a bit bloated. Oh, my apologies. I need to invite people, don't I? Huzzah! Let's give this dungeon a shot. First things first, consume the OJ. Oh wow, it's even even higher level. Drizmo hold, dark hold. Let's do this. Living my miner on the side. Okay, gotcha. One of your party members does not re meet the requirements for this. I confuse. What does that mean? There we go. Wait, what? I think someone is like, one well, of you guys must be also be a tank at the moment and that's why it's not working. I think Deathlayer is doing stuff at the moment. He still has a botanist. Okay. I think we're just waiting on Deathler. I mean, we could always kick the flare and then, uh, I mean, you could do the dungeon, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Definitely gave me so many, so much armor and so much help as well. I want to keep him. We'll give it another like minute or two. Yeah, we can wait a sec. I'm fine. Only issue is chat is I am out of snack. Monkey man out of snack. Big sad. We're out of snack chat. It's also getting quite warm, putting on my fan. Ah, that's nice. I have to open a window as well. Snack is absent. We've eaten all of snack and now we are out of snack. Ow, fuck. Jam my finger. We're out of snack. Such as pain chat. We're out of snack. Snack is gone. Feels bad. Yeah. 
The instant sword looks so damn cool. Got us, the weapon designs in this game are fantastic. Yeah, it looks wicked nasty. Right. I can do quests while we're waiting on Deffler. It's not like I can sit I can sit here doing nothing when I've got stuff to do. Hell, the quest for this place is just literally outside anyway. For eyes on the Empire. Yeah, it's literally right here. It's time for a great dismal dark hold. A subterranean fortress excavated by some of the by the great Ishtarian house of the same name. Oh, either? From Lord Bornlane? Ah, you've come for the Imperial airship. According to our scouts, the vessel had scarce touched the ground when a pair of men, captives by all the cannons, burst, force, and bolted. Imperial soldiers have been setting in the air, seeking to recapture them. They're likely your friends? And pray they're a step ahead of their pursuers. Emergency landed, landing reportedly took place near the, uh, the Aur Aurum Vale. Situated south and west of here. I suggest you take up your search there and seek out a knight named per, uh, Pierre Pierre Mons. You should be able to be able to, be able to assist you. Yeah, I do minor stuff and when Deathler comes back we can play. That's a big fucking dragon, Jesus. Thankfully he's not aggro to me. 40, 45? Wow, these people are strong. Strong zone. Near endgame zone. Mordora. Mordona. It is just the left over there. Pierre Mons. Talk to me, good sir. Your airship? I saw it land with my own two eyes. I hastened to the site landing, arrived just to see the vessel take to the skies again, but not before I deployed a de detachment of troops. The rough orders were being barked, and there was an air of consternation about them. Oh. Everyone wants to share with you what he knows about the two fugitives. Hey, Deathler, are you back? Hell yeah. Your prisoners aboard the airship. It seems that they seized the opportunity to flee when the vessel was forced to land. The garlings who were deployed to perform search parties to proceed to discard the wilderness. In order to let our forces, I let our forces I return to my post. To evidence that someone had been there in my absence. Whoever they were, they tried the door. There's no avail, they went elsewhere. In all, I saw two sets of footprints, one large one small. If you search the area, perhaps you will find the footprints that match their owners. Right, cool. Can I not take out the, the garbage and feed a cat? Of course you can. It's fine. Right. Let us duty finder. Drizmel Darkhold. Oh. Everyone needs to be ready for it. Foot points. There we go. Booyah. Let's rumble. Light party. First time in this dungeon. Z-Mail Darkhold. 
the bunny girls and a red mage and a human paladin Bunny girls will bend you over and give you a snooze too. I mean, maybe it's you, Gallander. I give only one punishment for you, which is death by snoo snoo. The mind is willing, but the but the flesh is swollen and bruised. There is only snoo snoo. Great soul. Okay, nothing here. Good to know. Good to know. Whoa. Wow, big scary. Which way do we go? Treasure! Oh, there's treasure this way! Oh, we're not going for treasure. Why is the one healing me? What the fuck, bro? Is everyone just fucking sleeping? What the fuck? Eddie Redmage went ahead. Jesus, fucking Redmage. I just wanted the fucking loots. Petition to ignore Redmage, yeah. Fucking 
red mage. Jesus Christ. For fuck's sake. I don't know how these things work. the crystal area to damage it okay bring them into the crystal okay Did Red Mage limit break him? Just reading 
everything. This red mage is doing a lot of very selfish DPS. Now we can progress. Fucking red mage, can you chill for five seconds? Oh, it's the crystal that's making these noises. Okay. Fucking red mage, man. Everything they do just screams, oh, I'm the most important person.
big boy up there too. Okay. Loot. It's actually good. But not good or better than the stuff that I'm wearing in the moment. Actually, the little 44. Actually, not bad. You want to be quick. Only DPS with a revive. Fair enough. here Big hurt, big hurt. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the big heals. fucking died. Maybe I should have proc Sentinel. Oh my god. Oh man. side. I'm out of the range of this bullshit. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, that was a pain in the ass. That was very hectic. Final boss, hell yeah. Demon Dragon? Demon Dragon! Wow, what a waste of a limit break, dumbass. Focus me, asshole, on the one you're fighting. Yeah, keep keep on that, keep on that. Big boy. Okay, I get I get the fight, I get the fight. Phase two. Okay, yes, that was the time to limit break. There you go. That was the appropriate time to limit break. I am not honoring this guy. Been a while since I've came across some of my dumbassery. Ability learn shrink? Diverse 25 of Mancy from a to target party member. Okay. So yes, yeah, so that's like moving your aggro off to another tank, I guess. Whole thing is there's apologies for not healing when you should have. That's fine, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. It's like a limit level two from Final Fantasy seven. Yeah. Sandals plays actually slightly better. Oh, whatever. It's fine. 
So yeah, you can go, you can throw your arrow on the red mage to fuck with him. <laughs> I like that idea. Next time there's a fuckhead doing it, I'm like, I swear to God, I will move my, my shit onto you. So you can die. You can get pissed off. Theory, you can do it, yeah. It apparently, has all classes level 80. Jesus Christ. A very experienced returning player, and he's just being an asshole? Yeah. That's very rude of him. Very, very rude of him. What is he doing doing that quest, though? Is he just trying to get, like, emblems or something is he trying to get um like grand company ones yeah roulette probably yeah uh who the hell knows They're under the bridge. Wedge! It's so cold, I wanna go home. Yo, it's me. Ah! Please don't leave me, I'm not sucking as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath, I swear. <gasps> Suika, thank God. I'm gonna see her here, it's been, it's been awful. The Carlins were snapping at our heels like a hundred pack of wolves. I was hell's bent on evading them, so I ran almost in headlong to a monster escaping maw. Thrice! But when I made for cover, it hit me how cold and hungry it was. Bip -bip Biggs? He isn't here, he went off another direction to lure pursuers away. It's me, Sid. Have you any success? I've got the small. Tracting wedge is wonderful news. Now what a what a big. I see. Well, that hardly surprised me that big fella went off as he did. For the tongue lashings he gives wedge, he's always taking care of them. I've scoured the area surrounding the dark hold. We have nothing to show for it. Any, for it. At any rate, we know the facts that Biggs headed west. Both Ida and Ishtola are helping out. So I'm sure it'll turn up soon. Now then. I'll make I'll make my way over to position while keeping an eye out for Biggs. Memory serves there should be an Ishgardian for foundation uh fortation not far to the west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called. Let us meet there. Dare I hope. Was that Master Garland you spoke with? Yes. Five long years. Thank goodness he's alive. I had a mentor grab mobs when I was pulling in my own pace. The bishop mode of it, however, forcing him to go at my pace. He then threatened, threatened for, thr he harassed us and threatened to report us for a false removal. One, I'm the tank and I'll decide when to pull how I want. Two, don't like it, press you and select leave duty. Yeah, for sure. The tank dictates the speed of the, the speed of the, the speed of the dungeon. If you want to dictate the speed of the dungeon, you play tank. Personally, that's one of the another reason why I like play, playing tank is that I dictate how quickly the dungeon goes And I do my best I pull the mobs I let boys do the DPS then afterwards I back out Don't want to deal with level 30 minute lever buster deal with it. Yeah Long way from home adventure, yes. I believe. As DPS or dime a dozen, yeah. As tanks, you're somewhat uncommon, but you'll run into occasional them all. And you run into a healer, you're few and far between. Their queues are long for a reason, yeah, for sure. 
well met, and welcome, adventure. What brings us to the frozen corner of the realm? Seems like your companion's kind of chill. Come and warm yourself by the fire. I'll bring you hot broth. Yeah. Everyone's coming to a new expansion. Everyone's quiet. Is going to be queuing as Reaper. I don't care if it's going to be Reaper still. I'm still going to be Dark Knight. Flex. Hero of the realm. Dark bringer. Destroyer of the worlds. Owner of Cloud's Buster Sword. How are you feeling now? Stay here as long as you need. Same goes for you, friend. It's plain you've had a hard journey ahead of you. You must find rest where you can. Yay! Don't give a fuck about Reaper. Reaper looks pretty cool. I mean, the visual effects are very pretty. The visual effects are very, very pretty. Wedge is gravely concerned about his missing companion. I'm fine now, thanks to you, but I can't bear to think that Biggs is all alone out there in the cold, with Garlings on his heels. He lured the enemy away from my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to rely on you again, Suika, but you think you could search for Biggs? I haven't the slightest notion where he might be at the moment, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something. A Rogardian gentleman dressed in the same manner as your companion? I'm sorry, but he did not come by. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. I would not raise your hopes unduly, but there's a cave situated south of the... South dis... Uh, a short distance to the south. We call it Fury's Gaze, and it may be worthwhile to investigate. Make the suggestion only because your friend seems like the selfless sort. Rather than drawing the enemy to this terror, may happy elected to pass us by. Mm, to the south, eh? Yeah, it really is a short distance to the south. I was second to the main class, yeah. Biggs! Biggs! I don't want to aggro all these plasma molds all at once, that would be a very bad idea. Ah, oh, fuck me. I can't spam, I can't. Here we spam. Oh, they're so cute! Okay, maybe not so cute. These things I can deal with. Plasmolds, not so much. I think that's the point, though. It's more so you to use single target spells or you'll die. So cute though. Nothing there. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Learn anything? Not in this area. Well, that stands for a good reason, I suppose. Seeing as he was trying to lure the garlands away, away from me. But where in this vast area of ice and snow could he be? Why well, just determined to find Biggs? We can't give up Suika. We must find Biggs before he summer comes to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower that can help us. Even only as to tell us where we can look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who'll listen and hurry. Biggs' chances to survive are grow, grow slimmer by the moment. Oh no. Well, hopefully I'll be able to catch up with the rest of you guys before Endwalker drops. We've got 
three months. It drops in October, I think. November 11th, yeah. Uh, Ignace. Where is Lost in the Wilderness, you say? If he's not if he's not around here in the vicinity of Darkhold, it's possible he made it to made it to White Brim. To reach it, one must travel through the diff the Danifin Pass. The sub the southern end of which lies the north the northeast of here. I guarantee no excuse your search for uh, sorry, I'll get <laughs> well I have no guarantee your search will bear through it, just better than worrying in idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, and one more thing. Do tread carefully on climbing the stairs here. Not a moon ago, I, not a moon ago, and you broke my neck when I slipped and took a stumble. A stumble, you say? Whee! Yolo! This way direction. The notorious Biggs. Ah ha ha, the notorious B.I.G. Good stuff, video game. Solid references. November 23rd, thank you. Red scarring on the... What is that? Whoa! What is this? Is this like a, a stain from the from the cataclysm? Early access for pre-orders is 11th or so. Well, I might end up joining that, so. Dismount Suika, for God's sake. There's not time to be posing on your bike. Ah, oh, sorry, gotta leave the gotta leave the party. Gonna pre order in September? Yeah, I'll probably do that for my birthday. As it's my birthday in September. Biggs! Order to take you back, dead or alive. Which will it be, engineer? Why don't you come in here and find out, Tin Head? Ah, Suka. It's well that you're here. Our situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. He needs to do something right now. He does the right of it. He'll perish if we delay. With me. He's not alone. Kill them all. Sup, bozos? I'm here to wreck your fucking face holes. Spin to win. Till I die. Till I die in your eyes. What in the fuck? Magitech Vanguards? Let me cast my pals and bullshit, god damn it.
There we go. Jeez. That was a lot of bullshit. That was a lot of bullshit. <sighs> My thanks. Another moment and I, th and I would have... <clears throat> He's injured. He's been too long in the cold. There must have been shelter for him. Monument Tower, you say? Very well. Eat a national beer there with all of our haste. Still be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge together. Oh, I love reunions. Yay. Friends have been saved. Excellent. Report to Wedge. Oh, shit. I love how fast the Fenrir is. Of course, nothing beats flight, but we don't have flight yet, so we're just gonna have to see. Scott will be heading off to bed. It's midnight here. Have a great time with Final Fantasy XIV. Yo, thank you for tuning in, Gallander. I appreciate that. And thanks for keeping that sub up. Appreciate that, too. You have a great night, man. Can't thank you enough, Suika. And that goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Don't mention it. We're family, are we not? Well, well, yeah. It's just... It's just I didn't think... I didn't think I'd ever see him ever again. I owe a lot of you my life. You save wedges, too, Suika. I'm losing count of how many I owe you. It's Seed. It's me boy. Big Swatch. Gods, it's good to see the two of you again. Chief, it's really you. In our hearts, we knew you were still alive. But to finally see you in the flesh. And often all told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with nearly a warning. They didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. It must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garlings get there so fast? I mean, the Immortal Flames should have seen this one coming, right? I'm, I myself have been asked the same question. That day when I returned to the carnage of the Waking Sands, I noted I noted not of the the amiss not amiss in Horizon, nothing at all to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this, I conclude that the Garlings either came neither by land nor by air, and they were they born by the teleportation magics, the kind used by the Arsians. Carry on. They were bound and blindfolded, and bundled into a cargo bay of a, a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came to for us to dis disembark, we just found ourselves in the midst of an imperial stronghold, Castrum Centuri. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together, while Minfili and the others were taken elsewhere, and that's the last we heard from them. Castrum Centuri. What happened next? Well, they were held in isolation for what it felt like years. It was probably moons, or maybe only a few weeks. But then, without wa without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, which we found out was headed for Garlemald. Much to our dread, we knew that if we were taken the back there, we weren't going to leave again. So risky as it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control and hereby forced it to make an emergency landing. And in the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip up, slip up our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. Brave boys. Ha. <laughs> Didn't know better. I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne itself? Airborne vessel? That will have to be big as his handiwork. Like, like is not... You're always resourceful in a tight spot, my friend.
the band's coming back together again. Suiga, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It seems I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. There's still many questions that come to mind, but the answers can wait. Minfili and the others still want to rescue. Alright, you lot. Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hell yeah. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right, what's next, Sid? Sid wants to prepare a strategy to rescue Minfili and the other Scions. Thank you. Biggs and Wedge are with us, with us again. Now we must find a way to rescue Minfili and the others. Gods know we've kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at Castrum Centauri. So let us reconvene at Revenant's Reverence Toll in Mordoa. It is a good place as any to prepare, and better than most. The road leading them is leading, leading east, then south will get you there. When we arrive, let us see the advice of the local adventurers. We're bound to learn a thing or two that will befit our mission. Aye, aye, Captain. This way direction. Level 48, only a little left to go. I wanna hit 50. I want the cool paladin armor. Here we go, enemy territory. Hall of the Seven Echoes. Well, isn't that interesting? Nav in the realm. More Donna. More Donner. Wow, this place is stacked. A lot of people here. A transforming airship? What the fuck? Oh, that's so cool. Like a jet fighter. Right. Let's talk to the inventors here. Surely they gotta have shops here, right? Alright, what's next? Well, my friend. What brings you to Revenant's Toll? Did I hear you right? Your friends are being held captive at Karasum Karas Centuri and you want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The stronghold has been high alert as of late. With armored patrols seen and run the perimeter around the clock, not even a fly could get in with a hundred yards of the walls undetected. If the Garlings are alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they will do to Minfili and the others. We must act with the greatest stealth. I must... Remember, Snake, this is a stealth mission. <laughs> okay. It's with the old-fashioned infiltration. So, but the security's so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Well, I have a mind to walk through the front door. Huh? The front door? I will disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we need a few set of Imperial uniforms, a suit of Magitek armor, and impeccable timing. That's a bold strategy, but it might just work. Where we are, there's certainly no shortages of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that a savage as Erosian would think to use their technology. Then it's settled. If you're determined to go, if you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Gallimund. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire, and what hap and happens to know a deal about the Karastum uh, Karastum Centuri. B besides, I've got no doubt he want to be a help to your aid. Ed and I shall go rec uh, rec reconnoitre the Galilean activity at the stronghold. 
It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we have the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Suka. Sick. Sometimes I wonder, Ida, are there times when you are when you are not enthused? I'm not enthused, you stole. I'm anything if not you stole. I'm not if anything if not enthused, you stole. You're beginning to remind me of Palomo. All right, let's talk to the guy with the grudge. And for Galamond? Well, we found him, whoever you are. Huh? You're looking to get inside Karistam Centuri? And you need my help? <laughs> Something tells me we're gonna get along just fine. Lamont would like to aid you in your mission to rescue the captured Scions. So your friends your friends at Karistam Centuri, and you need to you want to rescue? That Slathborn knows me too well. Aye, you can count me on my help. I've got a score to sell with the Imperials. And I ain't never and I ain't never pass an opportunity to get back at the at the whore sons. But enough about me. Let's talk about strategy. Rescuing folk from captivity right on captivity just captivity's right delicate business. Any slight oversight, just one blunder, and it's all over. We can't leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to confirm with a bit beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends are where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck only to discover they've been moved elsewhere. How can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Centauri from the east, you'll see a swamp line to your left called the, called the, the, called the Tangle. Get in there, never mind all the more balls, and navigate your way to the, sub, the southwestern corner. You'll come across some drainage pipes going down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know. But one of them, one of them leads back up to the command tower. If you listen closely, you might as well you might be able to eavesdrop on what's happening within. Once we know for certain that your friends are in there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going and Godspeed. Fuck Marlboros? The cigarettes? Come on, there's gotta be like a person going here. I'm sorry, what is this place called? Why the se why the seventh heaven, you ask? Because no one drink at the seventh hell. I also I also considered renaming it Cloud Nine, but that felt a bit effeminate for our clientele. Is this seventh heaven? Really? Wow. Yeah, they really like- yeah, the seventh heaven. Yo, where Tifa at? You're a dude. Where's Marlene? Where's Marlene? Is she under the counter? I wonder if there's any Easter eggs. No pinball table? Ah. Very small. This will become your uh, BOO post. Uh, what's BOO? I don't know what BOO is. Anyway, enough questions. Onward to victory. Base of operations? Sick. I don't mind being uh I don't mind being spoiled that I'm cool with that. Whoa, that's cool. Big ass fucking frogs everywhere. This place is cool though. Wow, that's magic attack for sure. Fate? Got no time for that right now.
Oh, that's a Marlboro. Yeah, they certainly look very gross. They look like those weird demons in Dark Holes with like the infinite teeth. How do I get in? Oh, he's pissed. Hopefully you're not a caster. Okay. Oh, did I fuck it up? How do I get in there? Bad breath and return awaits. Oh no. Bingo. Let's go. Faint send of conversation we heard during the pipe. What of the captive? Does she still refuse to speak? She may as well be deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't any better. The Elzine gets my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, he's only despite gibberish. I wonder why. Why is tri the, the tribunus obsessed with this mini fellow mini woman? Inferior woman. They say she has possessed some mystical power, something we garlings don't have. Escobar, like the beastman? Or am I, am I supposed to be the bloody no? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the tribunus yourself? I as well try to humble her. I like my head. I like my head where it's at. Thank you very much. Break is over. Get back to our stations. Food falls. Food fall goes more silent. Sweep off and all. Oh. Sounds good to me. Yo, Afnal. They're there. It's good to see you again, Suika. I'm given to understand you have conducted some reconnaissance. Tell me what you learned. So I'm feeling the others are indeed at Castrum and Centuri. Her presence thus confirmed, we can proceed with her mission. While you look where you're, while you are afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have the details from him. Good work, Suika. As often as I already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Garlemald is looking into ways to procure a, a, a suit of magic armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance with some preparations of my own. Minfili and the others are counting on Suika. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Sid requires her assistance to rescue the rescue preparations. While Garland Montengo is about devising his plan, we need to see some more preparations of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials were to discover that they're short in armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. This explanation is going to get a bit technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, the voices are born upon, born upon an etheric lightning energy that permeates the air. Now, the hell-sized cluster of corrupted crystals to the west has been observed to amplify the self-same energy. By using this property, you should be able to drown out the Imperial voices. To ensure we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals among the cluster. For this, I need to go there and use this device to take readings. I'll mark the likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, plasmals are drawn to lightning energy, so don't be surprised if you run into a few of them. Sounds good.
We need to cut somewhere. Yeah, there's one there. Have to fight this big bozo first, though. Yeah, it's just fast enough. Get stunned again, boy. Another electromagnetic reader. Is every single one of these gonna create a fight? That'd be kinda sucky. Oh, a mysterious assassin appeared? Oh boy. Not every single one that looks like this. Just most of them. Over here, by the looks of things. Huh? Where? What am I looking at? Am I smoking crack here? Where is it? It's up there. Alright, gotta look for a way up then. Just teleport back. See so was the trouble. All right, here's the number. Sit. Yes, for these crystals should serve a purpose. I really won't. I pray that we wouldn't have need of the power. Drawings!
That's in the bar. All right, Garlemont. Glamont. Imperial salute. That well, wax out of yours now because it's something I want you to do while we have preparation. This gotta know how to perform and be a convincing Imperial. First impressions, everything as they say. I could teach you the salute myself, of course, but it's best you learn from the experts. So get yourself near as you dare to the cast and cast them century and watch the Imperials and what they do. In this way direction. Then really is the higher that you go, the, the harder it is to get a hold of like level ups. But I suppose I'm seeing as I'm getting close to the end of the of 1.0, that should be expected, right? I don't know, I've never really gotten super, super late into an MMO before. Experience, plenty of experience with MMOs, yes, but never played super long enough. It's been a while since a game like this has really grasped to me. Oh, come on. These guys are chunky. We have to make back to my rotations anyway. All right, let's see.
Other reports, sir. We've received an anonymous warning that insurgent forces are near. An anonymous? Must redouble our vigilance. I shall rec I recommend that the patrols be increased. Someone's letting slip information. We've learned a thing. The thing has been learned. Also, damn, we have a lot of HP now. Is managed to learn the Imperial Salute? No, 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 you best demonstrate it. I'm liable to go into a, a rage and crack skulls. <laughs> best you don't demonstrate it. I'm liable to go ra rage and crack skulls. I learned the Imperial Salute. Alright. Time I took. Time was I took every odd job offered to me. Running messages and calling pesky fauna like a good little adventurer. I'm well past that now. This is only one thing on my mind, and that's what brought me here. Oh, there's someone next to him. My bad. So, Lamar, question in help you acquire dis disguises for your mission. You're called Sui Kaseya, yes? I've heard your plight from, from my friend, Gar um, Glau Glaumont. As a fellow adventurer and son of Rosia, both, I would to offer you my assistance. In order to infiltrate Castorum Centauri, you must, you and your comrades must disguise yourself as Imperial soldiers. A question about how you go in acquiring the uniforms and the helms. There are places men may purchase them, but individuals who deal in such wares are not the whom you want to trust with your secrets. It would be more prudent, I believe, to procure what you need via traditional means, from the bodies of the recently deceased owners. A fortified area before Castorum Centauri never lacks Imperial patrols. It ought to take, ought to take uh, it ought to not take long to obtain three sets of gear, one for each of your infiltration team, Biggs, Wedge, and yourself. When you have what you need, please return here and allow me to inspect the spoils. Gotcha. Back to that one bit we go again. Jeez. It's a whole lot back and forth to this one area, but I suppose this is the late game. This guy was not ready for me, was he? I really did aggro all them, didn't I?
I need to come more than that. Okay. That was the uniforms. Dodge Heart Stopper. Hmm, I need one more. Uh, there you go. Oh, sweet Jesus. That fate spawned on top of me. Oh my god, that's a lot of fates. Oh well, okay, let's go. Move, it was fun. I feel really proficient as a paladin right now. Holy crap. These guys are just dunking them.
Good stuff. Good stuff. More flame seals too. Oh Jesus. I see these more brawl. Let's see how how bad these are. Too bad. Good, didn't see me. Here's all the stuff. Undamaged. Sorry, damaged, as I ex as I expected. In the present condition of phase uniforms are on helms are like to draw mm, draw attention. They may they must be repaired, if only superficially. Fortunately, blacksmith Eng uh Ignoff, the Diamond Forge in Rowena's house of the Sp of the Splendors, she will have to shave in no time. I already sent my word ahead, and to give them the assurance he's expecting you. Worry not, they have already we have already impressed upon him our most utmost secrecy. That's the nature of our mission. It's at the top. Good. I can procure some armor and stuff too. Oh, and it's House of Splendors. Yep. He's just stuff. See, I oh, yes, I can reckon he's in back in shape for you. After all, oh, your friends, Sark and Malak, a favor or two. Took good care of the old of the old Engruff back in the days before I fell before I fell in old Ruina. He did. Did you know he's the son of one of the wealthiest families in the Sultanate? Wouldn't ex wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in a life the way he did. But I suppose he always felt the adventurous life was calling him. But there I go blabbering on about blabbering on when there's work to be done. Hold your horse birds for a moment or two, and the great Ingolf will have your gear looking good as new. Hey Thanatos, I'm barely level 10. Are you enjoying it though, Thanatos? Hopefully you are. Because I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying it. And there we have it. Won't do you much good in battle, mind ye. But from what I heard, uh, that's not your priority right now. Send Sarl Mar Malark my regards, will you? It's alright. I'm loving it, man. I'm super enjoying it. I will say the story's a little bit slow to start, but it picks up. It picks up in a really big and a really good way, my friend. Port sales. Artificial equipment? What are these? Antiques. What are... Oh, this is where I saw them before. Ah, uh, this is where I've been seeing the... The paladin armor. That everyone's wearing. What does Dark Knight look? Antique mail. Where do you get that? Chat, where do I get antique mail? Where do I get this? I know this is all level 50 stuff, but I'm like, 
a level and a quarter away from level 50. Yeah, these guys have got it already. Very cool. Oh, wrong way. Mender, independent mender, preserve prisms. I guess this is base, more basic armors running through here. Or maybe not. Foreign merchant. All the like, furnishings and stuff for your stuff. Okay. Fair enough. Well, Phantos, apparently there's a lot, quite a few people in my uh, in my Discord that play this game, so don't be afraid to to want to play with people, man. Like for sure. Have the uniforms repaired? Yes, I did. These will serve beautifully. The great Ingrenoff never fails to impress. The qualities of these repairs would fool even a legat legatus. Thus equipped, you have no trouble blending you in amongst the Imperial forces. Lest you fear that the Garlands might deter your foreignness, foreigners form, form the greater pact of the Garland Vision Force in Nerosia. You see, when the Empire subjugates a new territory, it simulates the people of that land into its armed forces. In turn, these, con these conscripted forces are sent to subjugate faraway lands. In this way, Garlemald nips in rebellions in the bud and expands its territory in one fell, in one fell stroke. With that, a part of your mission is done. I'm glad to have been assistance to your cause. Hmm? Why would I, a healthy merchant, wish to help you? I know not where you hailed such a tale, but believe me when I say that I'm but another humble adventurer, one that only desires to work the best of the realm. Cool, hell yeah. Oh, it's him again. Foamy toys. Carlemon has finally devised a plan to appropriate a suit of magic armor. You're forgetting the Imperial duds. You'd be pleased to hear that I ain't been idle myself. It took me long enough, but I've finally hashed a plan to get us a suit of magic armor. And from what I've seen, Castrum Century deploys a Reaper, was a Reaper for most of its patrols. Problem is, patrols themselves are irregular. Meaning random routes and random deployments. And hardly any of them come anywhere near Revenant's toll. I was hoping to coax the Imperials out of their shells, deliberately feeding them a little bit of false intelligence and told insurgents had designs on the stronghold. Ain't far from the truth, now that I, and now I come to think of it. Any road, we should start seeing more patrols uh, than we have up until now. What you want to do is approach one of these patrols dressed in your, your, sh your, sh your shiny tin suit and alert them to the enemy's presence. Having done that, want to lure them near Revenant's Toll as close as you can. Like, not. Like, like as not, though, they'll be wary of venturing far from their own walls. If they do need a little bit of extra encouragement, use the smoke signal. If said flesh from an Imperial Scout. They'll come running when they see that. When the cavalry rise, you hit them hard and make off with the Reaper. Simple as that. Oh, if I ain't mistaken, if it's trolls, we can burn right now. So run along, yeah? Don't forget to salute. Really Imperial armor. Oh, it's got no defense. It's 
suppose that's the challenge, eh? Let's just try not engage in combat until we figure this out. We're getting there though, chat. We're getting there. Oh, better him than me. Oh my god, that's a massive fucking blob monster. Give me strength. If that was your idea of a salute, you can wave goodbye to your promotion right now. What am I supposed to do? Oh, Imperial salute. Imperial salute. There we go. Carolyn Soldier. Hmm? Insurgents gathered to east, you say? Here's my description, they're well beyond the perimeter. I will not have it said that it was a miss. Return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Now all goes awry, use your smoke signal. Gotcha. up there again. Wait, hang on. Re-equip my armor. Put best gear. Time for dinner. Good luck with the story. Ain't no worries, man. <laughs> Fool me twice. Level 50 is capped. I appreciate that, Deathler. I'll catch you later, man. Thanks for swinging by and thanks for the help with the dungeons. I appreciate it. Hope you don't mind me joining. Seeing as we're seizing advanced weaponry, I thought it'd be best on hand. Ah, there she is. This place, but where is the enemy? Sir, over there. Set of the Reaper. Let's make an example of these insurgents. Oh, that's a Reaper. That is a Reaper. Guys died it like there's nothing. I'm just gonna it. Oh, 
There we go. Got him. Ooh, yeah. At last, our very own set of Magitek armor. Uh, not wishing to look a gift horse, gift truck in the beak, but it does look rather worse for wear, doesn't it? Biggs, what, what's the honest assessment? Well, it's the fact that she's smoking, of course, but looking past that, she's. She was structurally sound. I don't like the way these legs buckled. I hate to see this, but the servo mechanicism might be damaged. Oh, but that, aren't these things protected by il, ilm thick armor plates? Yes, they are. Yes, it's odd. The casing doesn't seem to have taken a blow, but we're just, I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Oh, well, whatever it is we're dealing with. Not rest until it's fixed. Not one wink of sleep. You got that wedge? Oh. Cart chocobo. I heard that. A hall, a hall has been set aside for use in the Revenant's toll. So we'll carry out the pairs. Look for us there so you can. Will do. Eat the small child. Damn, it looks badass as hell though. Oh, it's limping. Off it goes limping away. All right, teleport. Report to Sidrolic. Stop going. Match tower? Send the other signal inside. Go ahead and join them. Into the workshop. Now we've had the time to to close look at the Reaper. The preliminary diagnosis is correct. It's structurally sound, but server mechanicisms is faulty. Shouldn't worry though. Back to which we'll see her restored to former Globe in no time at all. Get those two something to mend, and they'll have not else. To, they'll think of not else. The job's done. It was a marvelous thing to behold. If I you remind them to visit the privy. Level forty nine, and a new shiny. Level forty three weapon coffer. What's in here? A cobalt scimitar and an eagle crested round shield. Eh? Are they any better? It's actually better. In what regard, though? I don't know if it's actually better. It's exactly the same auto attacks. Vitality, strength, tenacity. Yeah, I don't think that's better. I think the game's bugging out. And she's already clearly better. Ah, whatever. So, have you assist in the repair of the magic tech armor? Probably beating up another one of these things and taking its taking its parts. So we cut the repairs are proceeding at pace. Shouldn't get long enough for Biggs and Wedge to complete the work. There's one small problem. As you recall, the, me the Mechanicus servo mask servo mask uh, servo mask uh, servo servo Servomachism that's discovered to be faulty. Wedgen has subsequently asserted that the Magitek core, which drives, which it drives, is worn beyond use. Chest cores, cores are rather frail devices, which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to our negligence of the Imperial comrades, however, this one, this, this one, it seems to be was long overdue. Alas, we can't access a radio replacement here in Mor Mordona. But all is not lost. Which thinks you may have identified an alternative solution? Go see him, will you? Alright. What's the hat, Switch? 
As I believe, Chief has already informed you, the Magitek Corn is worn beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about you having, a, having you appropriate for more Reapers, but even the Dunderhead maintenance engineers at Castor, Castrium Centuri had remembered to replace their cores, we would, we would risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair. I believe the solution. A substitute for the Magitek Core with a Hamret Heart. In case you don't know, a Hamret Heart can be used as a giant to grant sentience to an automaton by an auto automation. From my reckoning, such a device should be more than capable of regulating the, mir the mirror's servo mechanicism. Well, we need is to make some minor modifications to the housing unit. I've already placed an, uh, placed an order for a first rate Mammet Heart with the Goldsmiths Guild. All that remains for someone to go to Ulda and collect it. Oh, and pay for it. Uh, did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, well they're typically some of the cost of the order of a. Uh, uh, I hope you don't mind putting the bill. It's for a good cause. Oh boy. Well, it's a good thing we have 226k at hand. Hopefully, it's not going to be any more than that. Oh, it's not going to be any more than that. Thankfully, we've not really spent a dime this entire time. Here's your man. Goldsmith Guild. Um, no, don't want to talk to you. There you are. The Guildmaster, hello there. You can come collect the Mammoth Heart, you say? Must be half, mm, must be here to, on behalf of Garland Ironworks. I've taken the liberty of picking the finest example we have. A heart, a heart to fit the prince among mammoths. Payment? Oh, that won't be necessary. The heart is for Master Offenal's uh, personal use, after all. He notifies a short while ago that his servant would be coming to collect it. Servant? Really? Tender in years as he, as he may be, Master Alphanolds has been a benefactor of, of ever since my predecessor's time. The Goldsmith Guild wouldn't dream of charging him. But here is the Mammoth Heart. May it serve you well. Oh, do please pass on my compliments to your master. Mmm, you're due a slap off and all. I am no one's bitch. Least of all yours. Off and all to do a slap. He's been due a slap for a while, actually. He's been due a slap for a good long while. I understand why. Let's see if it works. Hurrah, thank you so much. Oh, this is magnificent. Must have cost an emperor's ransom. Free of charge, courtesy of Alphen Alphenold. Coming from an influential family certainly has its advantages. But without further ado, let's take give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should just slot right in. She's ready, the Marketic Magatek armor. Engage! Or not. <laughs> she just needs a love tap, I'll wager. Hell yeah. Yes, she's she's alive. And let's take her outside and put her the paces. Suga, would you care to do the honors? Do I get to ride it? Do I get to pilot it? Oh, hell yeah, I do. Off into the pilot seat. Let's see as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like to try climbing that, that tangle of of crystals yonder. Up as far as you can go, please. And if you need a reason to dismount, so they come back here and we'll start again. Wow, that's cool.
no an anomalous movements evident from the leg. Good. Next, jump down and then sprint north as fast as you can. Joints absorbing all impact with their incident. Make way back. Nah, not now. Oh, sure remains stable during vigorous motion. Excellent. With that, concludes our test. Thank you for cooperation. Here's the fine the summary of my findings. The drive train is in sound condition. With some fine tuning, we, we can expect a noticeable improvement in performance. As for the ser the servo mechanicism, I'm afraid it's not really as responsive as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain why. The mammoth heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps it's the inner workings are simply too different to to operate harmoniously with the armors of the mecha mechanisms. Whereas Magistech cores, cores serve only to conduct impulses, MEM hearts enable an um, auton, automa, automata to process information collected from the sensors and fee feelings. Maybe she doesn't like being a part of the team? In that case, maybe we should make her feel welcome. Click. Extend the magic like a warm welcome, yeah. Duty calls. Uh every little thing she does is magic attack. <laughs> Another fight, let's go. Dap as I feel, I give it my best. I welcome myself up I welcome myself to a bloody standstill. What are you expecting it to do? Baba curtsy? I doubt you're wondering why the servo me servo mechanicism is important to as it's war warrant the stillness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually, and this was an ordinary task at best times and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of a worn of, of the worn magic core seemed like a promising solution. Alas, the device does not seem to be compatible with gargling technology. Wedge, are there no other ways we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't seem convinced. We could try a little dance, perhaps? Or cheer her heads off? Imperials, I come for the armor. Damn it, they got us cornered. That's the Reaper. Taken by the 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 the, the traitor Garland, and is that the the Icon Slayer? Oh bollocks! Call for reinforcements. Like hell's you will. We located the crew of the stolen Reaper, and re requesting immediate assistance. Respond. Respawn! No signal, sir. There's some sort of interference. Curse you, Garland. No matter. If we if we can't reclaim it, destroy it. Oh boy. Oh bloody hells. So we gotta protect the armor at all costs. Let's go. Oh hell, 
Oh no. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Cancel that? Cool. Get the way from Maggie. Wanna go? Nice. And with that big robot destroyed, we could probably use that to field the, the bits that we need to. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you. Hello there. Look, Chief, she moved. Ah, uh, now she deems the gracer with her with her us with her presence. It took us a good while, but we're finally ready. Santa infiltrated Castrum Centurion, rescue her comrades. Hell yeah. There it is, the finishing touch. What'd you do? It marked it with our logo on it. The Ironworks logo. <laughs> Hopefully we gotta keep Maggie. I like Maggie. The server mechanism is now fully functional, and all it took was a simple fight to the death. Remind me to not install a mammoth heart on board the Enterprise, would you? As much as I love her, I'd rather not have you required to profess it before before boarding. Enough of that. Let's see to our final preparations. Thanks, thanks to Biggs and Wedge, the Reaper is good as new. We're prepared to, we're as prepared as it gets. Instead of waiting for your confirmation of your readiness to undertake the rescue mission. How go your preparations, Suika? We leave as soon as you're ready. Gar Glomont, you came. Aye, I want to give you a roar and send off. There's the least I can do for the fine men and women they're about to. Make my lifelong wish come true? Well, we'll do our best. Hmm. Curse me for all the help you afford of us. We know little less about you. What did the Empire do to earn your ire? Ah, uh, but I fear I'd push my curiosity before my consideration. I quite understand if you'd rather not live your love those memories. No, no. I don't mind, really. Truth to be told, part of me is itching to tell you my tale. Mind you, tis hardly novel. I ain't, I ain't the first to suffer in Imperial hands. Like most folk, I used to have a mother. She was a sweet and caring woman with a smile never far from her face. There was a sister, too. Pretty little thing, she was. Gentle as a lamb, though tough as nails. We were poor folk living in the simple lives. But we knew happiness just the same. And then Imperials came and took it all away. When Alamijo fell, they put my family in the camp. Being a lad, I was made to do hard labor. 
Well, my mother and sis were forced to do do worse, far worse. They had their suffering from me as best they could, but uh, but I knew, and the thought drive me mad. We had to escape, so I hatched a plan to get us out of the city. We were pecking our way through the gorge, not, not from the walls, when they caught up with us. And rather than allowing themselves be taken again, my mother and sister leapt over the edge before my very eyes. Heartbroken as I was, I didn't put up a fight when the Imperials clamped me in chains and dragged me back. Oh, dude, I'm, that sucks. Plus, years before I escaped again, and at that time, I got away. I swore to get my revenge on the Empire and become an adventurer as to hone my skills and earn the coin I needed. But now, for two decades since I've gone by, what have I achieved? Bugger all, that's what. Not like you lot. You guys ain't been here, ain't been here for ten minutes, and you're already gone and done more than I managed to do in ten bloody years. He gave us too much credit, Garmond. We only seek to rescue our friends. Well, what's more than getting more important than that? At any road, you've got your friends back, and you're you're planning going after the Empire. And don't pretend you ain't. I've had a few folks take on Imperials over the years, and every time I I have, it's helped stave off my appetite for revenge. But something tells me I won't be going hungry for a while with what you guys got planned. And are you sure that will satisfy you? If you wish to strike back at the Empire with your own hands, you only need to say the word. We're glad to have you with us. As tempting as your offer is, I'm feared it must decline. I swear to get rid of revenge in the Empire, it is true. But I've long since realized that the front lines ain't no place for a man like me. Aye. There's some who call me Craven, though I think of myself as a realist. My talents lie in scheming, you see, not in swordplay. Helping you folk is how I can... Helping folk like you is how I can make the most difference. But that's quite enough storytelling for one day. Let's not keep your friends waiting any longer. I'll be praying for your safety and success. May Rhaegar give you strength. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. Wherever the Empire goes, misery invariably falls in its wake. For the sake of those who call Erosia home, we must put an end to Gladius's ambitions. But first, we have friends to rescue. Biggs, Wedge, and I will lie and wait at the eastern. Uh, and wait east of Cal Castrium Centauri, just outside the patrol, the stronghold's patrol perimeter. Join us when you're ready. Oh, and don't forget to wear your disguise or the, the shortest rescue in history. Disguise. Disguise. Ikazo. One more level to go, chat. One more level. Oh, a lot more foggy this time. Right down here. Forgive me saying so, but you look rather fine in Imperial Black and Crimson. Definitely your colors. Ah, but now it's not time for jests. Aww. She's like, aww. Let's review the infiltration plan. Castrum Centauri just lies in the beyond. I well ago, an Imperial patrol left to do its rounds. Afinald and I will create a diversion out here and keep them occupied for as long as we're able to. Meanwhile, the three of you enter the stronghold, posing as the patrol returning from duty. Should Offenald and I prove less distracting than we hope, I will contact you via the Link Pearl. Be ready for her to beat a hasty retreat.
Yeet the small. Wedge will lead the way by the Reaper. Stay close to him. And I hardly need to tell you this, but don't do anything suspicious. Well, unless you wonder, Ida and Yestola left shortly before you arrived. It planned, we planned that they should linger in the vicinity to cover a retreat in the event often and I attract too much attention. But the approach of the Imperial vehicle forced us to improvise. Don't be too disappointed. They did at least leave a message for you. Something lines of, don't do too anything reck reckless. Don't do anything reckless if memory server serves. Wise words. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words, chat. All right. The Imperial Patrol should be returning at any moment now. You best be off. Good luck, Suika. May the 12 keep you. Here we go. We're in the belly of the beast now, boys. Ugh. Oh, don't you have spirit. That I don't remember. smack my bitch. Yet you struggle to the benefit of none, least of all yourself. I hate you. I hate this bitch. This echo of yours intrigues us. We desire only to understand it. And for that, we need your help. Well, we're not getting your help after you literally gunned down all of her friends in you front of her. You wish to be rid of the icons, do you not? You would have saved yourself a great deal of torment had you accepted our aid from the beginning. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, that's a backhand you got. Jesus. Tell me everything, and I shall end it quickly. Refuse, and though you beg for death, you shall not have it. Which will it be? Jesus Christ. As you wish, my dear Minfilia. Unpleasant though it will be for all concerned, you leave us no choice but to employ more rigorous methods of study. Torture. Be so kind as to deliver the prisoners to Castrum Meridiana. Oh no. Yes, my lady. Are they moving them? Right as we're entering? Oh boy. We better be fast, or we're not going to be able to catch him. Let's go back to my duties. The supplies aren't going to move themselves, and the president, and neither of the prisoners is coming to that. Oh, imperial salute. Oh, my apologies. Didn't notice you were there. I was so engrossed in my task. You're engrossed too. You have the Trimonus com uh, command you to arrange the prisoners we transported. What prisoners do I speak of? You mean you haven't heard? All the infamous sounds of the Seventh Dawn captured by the Tribunus herself. If you don't believe me, you take a look at that storage tower when you pass by. Part of the maintenance crew from Orleans, did you? Oh, sorry. Imperial salute. Huh? Oh, that's a fine salute. Part of the maintenance crew from the Os Ossidens, are you? Welcome to the Castrum Centurion, Engineer. What? Prisoners? Ah, you've heard the rumors. Yes. They're being in this, having a storage terror. I strongly suggest you pay them no mind. You're summoned here for work, not to gop at Eros's defeated heroes. I show a bit of enthusiasm and I'll have your report reported. Yeah, boy. Yeah, some Imperial Guard got his ass out to him. Greetings, comrade. Forgive me for asking, but you haven't visited the store store recently, have you? I only asked because I dropped something there, and... Oh, well, I'm falling. <laughs> 
Who am I fooling? I've fallen for one of the prisoners, all right. I dare say you know the one I mean. Huh? The, the seven-toed blonde? Goodness, no. It's the Lalafellian lass I'm smitten with. She's so adorable, it hurts. I want to sweep her in my arms and squeeze her until my arms ache. What do you reckon that will convince the centurion to lend me the key so I can see her? Oh, wow. That's funny. Nearly did slash all like in League of Legends. Jesus Christ! What's this? You need you need to access Storybridge. What business do you have there? At the Tribune's behest, you say? This is highly irregular, but it would not but it would not do to make my lady to make my lady's roof. Here's my identification key, and see his return to when your errand is concluded. <laughs> Easy peasy. He's tight, just as expected. Any special key if we're gonna get around the bulkhead. Look what I got. A little bit too enthusiastic, boys. Where'd we go? My boys with me, or is it just me? Nah, Biggs is with me. Oh no, he's right there. Duty calls. Commence battle for escape room cast from Sorrenti. Proceed. Come on, let me get them out. I need a W. Infilia. No! Infilia and the rest, thank god they're safe. I am not the one you want. I'm the one you want. Leave the others be. You harm my friends. I shall swear I shall take my own life and shall answer to your mistress. Mistress. Aww. Tataru. Tataru. Must do something. Risk letting the, the entire cast room know that we're here. Ah, you're right. We may not get a better chance. Huh? This is it the third squadron? What is it? A Reaper? Seized when? And this only came to light now? Uh oh. The culprits will have left the trail. I want to take as many men as you can and scare the area. I want that Reaper found. That's our chance. Hey, but <gasps> Did he just pog? What the? Strike my last. Eliminate the intruders. Let's go. Let's go, Robito.
It's your girl. Tatoro! Tika, I was so scared. So small. It's foolish of you to come here. You might have been killed. But thank you. I shudder what to think would have happened had you not arrived when you did. I say, did you not did you not see Thancred anywhere? I'm beginning to fear for the fellow. To linger here, shall you has no answer. Let's get away. Air the window to our liberty shut and close it shut. Did you, what did you say? Escaped? Then recapture them. Fail and I shall have your head. And what have we here? Oh, what are you doing here, sweetheart? Ishtola, what are you doing? The tribunus herself, just as you said. You have an eye of an Aryaman, Yada. Ida. Are they going to lay a beat down? Well, she's kind of hard to miss in that showy armor of hers. Cursed scions. How did you slip her defenses? With unexpected ease, to, if, to, if truth be told. There was a chance... Ch there was a chance to be a commotion outside the Kinstrom's walls, which allowed us to allowed us to the veil of ourselves. The comforts of your vehicle. Your stool is being ever so polite. That was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever stowed away in. It's no wonder it's called the Phantom Train. No passenger will be seen dead in it. So you scuttled amidst the freight, like the vermin you are. I shall be sure to have words with her rat catcher. Such negligence is unforgivable. That is far from your own pressing concerns. First, you must answer for your own rondinging, wondering, Olivia San Ju Jun Junius. It was you, it was you, the one that led the raid on the Waking Sands. You who butchered unarmed men and women for the crime of being unworthy of capture. You killed our friends, and I'll never forgive you. Nor shall we, uh, nor shall we suffer the play, the, suffer you to plague Erosia for one other day. Betake your guard. More, more intruders! Protect the tribunus. Confound it! Ida, with me. Ooh. What the? She barely escaped there. Holy shit. I thought she was gonna get her face blown off. Where's his excellency? In the hangar, my lady. In discussion with our guest. Alert him at once. Yes, my lady. No, 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 no! Get fucked, bitch! There they are. Find out and surround them. No, Tataru! Must protect Tataru. Thanks, I'm going in. See everyone to safety. No, Wedge, don't do it! No! Wedge! Oh no, so you can hold them off. I'll look after Mini Fila and Tataru. I need to switch my clothes real quickly. Shit, what armor was it? This one. Hello, it's brand new Velveteen Weather Custom Made Torture Shell. Alright, now ready to fight.
think I can harm it until I kill everyone else. Invulnerable? Why is it invulnerable? Gotta be messing something. What am I missing here? It's a bubble to stuns too. There has to be something I'm missing here. Is it just a timer? Somebody's giving me access to limit break. Don't tell me it's because I'm wearing this fucking armor. I can't touch it. Oh, I can't switch into a little combat. Okay. Examine the steel door. Couldn't touch it. There's gotta be more of them. Yes, there is more of them.
gotta be missing something. Run through it? It's gotta be something. God, I wish chat was helping me right now. Still I knew I was missing something. Yes! I knew it! Big brain time! Armor's down. A Colossus. Oh, you're a big boy. That had to use some brain cells other than just push buttons for a change. But what about Wedge? Where's Wedge? That's not Wedge. My dead body. Magic shield, bitch. What the? The Astola. Pray, forgive us our delay. There we go. Numbered. Squall. Wedge. He's back. You ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell. Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. I forgot what that's what they sounded like. <gasps> now the armor is still up and running. The 
There's no one in there. This is Sid. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. To count to five, then jump. Understood? Gotcha. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Let's go. Later, nerds. I know not which is more pitiful. The charlatans who rule Eorzea or the masses that clamor for their implausible panaceas. I see that which they cannot. This realm founders for want of a ruler with true power. The power to cast down icons. If you continue to deny this truth, it is the people who will suffer. Embrace reason. Got my scions back, bitch. Ooh. What in the seven hells? Oh, fuck my dick. Oh, no. It's here. Twelve preserve us. They finished it. Ultima weapon. So it has a name. It is a relic of ancient Alag. Excavated from its resting place deep beneath Alamigo, the Alagans used it to crush primal and foe alike. And now the Galleons mean to do the same. Damn you, Gaius! Look! There! Beside the Black Wolf! Huh? An Asian. Ooh. An overlord, no less. His garb attests to that. La Habrea. It could only be him. Taking off the mask. <gasps> what? Thancred. What? Traitoro. Was Laha Brea? No. No, this cannot be. That explains how they knew where we were. He's feeding us information the whole time. We have to go now. Hang on. Activate the thrust the thrust drivers. Sacred. Traitoro. All that time, the enemy was beside me, and I never even suspected. And to think that it was I who suggested that Thancred investigate the Asians. <sighs> How could I have been so blind? Small wonder the enemy knew our every move and where to find us. Uh, confound it all! No. No, this is not the time for self doubt. The Alliance leaders stake their hopes on the Scions, but now they believe us all dead or missing. When they learn of the Empire's new weapon, we cannot be certain what they will do. We must go and offer them what assurances we can that defeat is not inevitable. Cryo, this is Minfilia. The situation I may have taken an ill turn, me if I seem but the battle is the far from I over. And so long as we stand together, Wonderful. there shall ever be hope I'm of victory. Press, the people of Eorzea falter for want of such hope. 
Let us provide. I am in your debt. Let us bear to them the tidings that the scions of the seventh dawn are returned. Matters are coming to a head. I hope we can count on you. Yeah, boy. My regards to grandfather. I am ready. Let us pay a visit to the Council of the Alliance leadership. All right. Things are spicy. Things are heating up. I'm uh I'm enthralled, said but it lightly. Hells take Black Wolf and his new toy. Rally all available forces. I want them available on my on my word. Really to sell uh, slap for scene to in order to sail. That is all. Maelstrom stands by. What of the flames? Ready as we'll would like to be. And are they ready like or ready as we're like to be? I need to only give the the, the word to Royal. Has been no word from Mishgard. None. The dragons have their tongues. Silent at last. I was unwise to hope for better. What would said the Archbishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And and he claims the fury for his god. Tis bad comedy. The Holy See has made its choice and will proceed without its cooperation. Spicy. I believe we're all acquainted with the terms of the Bla Black Wolf's ultimatum. We must agree on a course of action, not less the fate of Erosia hangs in the decision of this council. Van Balsar claims to wield the, the power of the primals. Should we yield to him his pledge is to rid the realm of the false gods, yet offer resistance and he swears we shall share, we shall share this, the primals' fate. Or my bluntness, but I, I like not these choices. All is too great a decision for any one of our nations to make alone. Choose we surrender or resistance. We must answer as one. Or if uh, but one surrenders, the rest shall surely fall. Let us pray the wisdom to do the right by all peoples. Infilia. Thancred's plight troubles us all, yet we cannot allow anything to come by us in our goal. As long as Ultima weapon exists, Erosia will never know peace. Let's go to the Alliance Leader Suika and help them make the right decision. He feels greatly concerned about recent developments concerning the, the Council of the Alliance Leaders. Grim tidings, Suika. It seems like the word of the ultimate weapon's existence has already reached the Alliance Leaders in the form of an ultimatum. They have gathered in the, fr the Fragrant Chamber and are deliberating their answer even as we speak. Be leisured as the, as they are, I fear they may as well elect, elect to lay down their arms and believe surrender will spare the people untold suffering, yet nothing can be further from the truth. That which the Black Wolf offers will doom Erosia, not deliver it, and the leaders must be made aware of this. Let us hurry to them so we can ensure they do not act in ignorance of the consequences. Yes, get me out. Yeah. 
My god, there's only one place I can guess there'll be. Absolutely correct. It was absolutely correct. The hands of the lion's leader is presently in the process in the fragment chamber. I asked me to step away from the doors, ma'am. I'm sorry? Remember have the signs of the seventh dawn? That was Empower's my lead, of course you may enter. Damn right, bitch! Get out of the way. Ah, we keep treading the same ground. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas, our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight. But if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... It has been five years since the Calamity, and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Of course, Kana Isena wants to conflict, surrender. I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost. Only for them to rise again and again. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. By the Twelve. Though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. <sighs> Not that I deny there is truth in what you say, nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the Remembrance Service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. Do not blame yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words served to kindle it in them anew, Better we speak than remain silent. Our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. Well spoken, Queen. Well spoken. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough to solve the problems of the present. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, alas, they are gone. And the black wolf is at our door. Kick in the door. X gonna give it to you. Admiral! I fear you are mistaken. X gonna give it to you. We're gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. We're gonna give it to you. Minfilia? 
and seven hells, Master Garland? And you, dear friend. It me. By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. Accepting the Galleon's offer to vanquish the primals would be folly. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Garlean's proposed solution. The true answer lies in a lasting peace, but the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm? Remember what you fought for, what you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so I bid you stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raban? Sid, I... Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? I know full well that all we have, we owe to... We Gridanians have no love for war, yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear, and this shall never change. Gridania will go to war. We will fight the Empire for the sake of the realm and all who abide here. Hell yeah. What are you laughing at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at long last, I hear words worthy of a founder of the Alliance. Ralphon, are we to be outdone? Hell no, not the flames. I lost one homeland. The thought of losing another had blunted my resolve. But no man knows better than I that if you want aught, you'd best be ready to die for it. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. We old dons who have turned sand into gold know this well. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? I've fair lost count. It me. Reckless, the lot of you, like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round, on account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Hell yeah. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down or go down with all hands. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa. 
will be waiting for them. Hell yeah. If our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hands. Oh, Eorzea! Hell yeah! Prepare for war, motherfuckers. We must needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy and... Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the waking sands. We will send word anon. Hell yeah. The band's back together. That's a feel good that's a feels good moment. I've needed that. I've needed that feels good moment. Happy music here again, hell yeah. And the boy, everyone's all here. I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled, and they will fight to the last. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Oh! Hello! Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? It's all right, Sid. We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sankrid's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. Ah. That they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as crystals of darkness. So you're saying that Thancred is possessed. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. This is a crystal of darkness. A mere replica, created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Even for an Archon, Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the ah, Asians alone. When he investigated the Asians, he got controlled. It's not like he wanted to be evil. It's that he got possessed. 
Bewitched. had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah. He would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm, and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. Yeah, because Thancred was the one who Thank you. who invited From us the into this order. Of my heart. As I am sure you are aware. The realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain... comparisons. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Yet remember this, however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are she, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. Come, my friends, let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Cool. What's this? More tickets. Cool. And Philly would brief you on Rosie Alliance's plans counter offense against the Empire. Cool. All present and let us begin we have received the details of the impending operation and what promises to be the largest single counteroffense in the realm's troubled history the alliance will strike at every imperial stronghold standing upon erosian soil as to be expected the operation will be complex but you need not commit its interest interest to memory it's enough that every man understands his part and plays it to the best of his ability. The finer instructions you receive at each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces from the west to the east. The Maelstrom of Limus Lomensa and the Immortal Flames of Ulda and the Order of the Twin Otter of Gridania. Let us examine the locations of the Imperial strongholds. Near Limus Lomensa, you have Castra or Ossidens, situated in the eastern Valabrand, and, and Castrum Marinum, which lies south and east of the mid in the midst of the Rotanio Sea. Near Ulda, you have Castrum Merid Meridium to the north, and to the coastal deposit of of Cape Westland, which connects Castrium Meridium to the mainland by the, by the means of a, a Magitech transporter. Near Gridania, we have Cast Castrum Oriens, which lies on the eastern edge of the Twelveswood. And finally, Mord Morduna, Cast Castrium Centuri, a thorn in the heart of Erosia. A fourth operation will see all Allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations. With the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon housed within the Castrum Meridium. As one might expect from the Black Wolf seat of power, Castrum Meridium boasts all but impenetrable forces. If we're able to breach it, our needs must isolate it from its sister strongholds. To do other side would risk being caught twixt hammer and anvil. 
The operation comprised of four dis distinct phases, all told. First phase shall eliminate the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Re Retiva and Sans Arvina. According to intelligence, the Pref Prefectus is due to visit an Imperial outpost at Cape Win Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dis dispatch an elite adventurer unit to eliminate him, so he eliminate him. Suika, we would have you lead this assault. Retian is a peerless field technician, shorn of his leadership and garrisoned at Astrium or Ossidens, and will be a snake with will be a snake without head. Phase two will see us sever Castrum Meridium's primary line of supply. As soon as Retian's uh, Ritian's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrium Ossidens. At that very hour, Lemus Lomensa, helmed by the Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Meridium. Meanwhile, in the Twelve's Wood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castrum Oriens. And they will have the selves help them. Frixio has been waiting for a chance to revenge these ones. Phase three will see will, shall see us neutralize Car Castrium Meridium's defenses. Forming the main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy eyes are drawn outwards, another elite adventurer team adventure unit shall infiltrate the Castrum. Its mission? To disable Magitech Field Genera, which, pro which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress worth within the ultimate weapon is behaved to be housed. Suika, we'd have you take command once more. Two dungeons. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railroad which connects Sentry and, Mer and Mer Meridanium, prevent the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. A wise precaution. This monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two Castera is cap is capacious enough to transport a small army by by all accounts. It is well that Gridanians think to not give it it is well that Gridanians did not think to give it wings. Once Mer Meridium's defenses have been compromised, the operation will begin its fourth and final stage. This will see the immortal flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants at the gar of the remnants of the garrisoned enemy, allowing Suka's unit to pass unopposed to the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy Ultimate Weapon. Three dungeons. By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. In addition to the Grand Companies, we can count on the support of a variety of parties. The Pirates from Limus Lomensa, to the Monarchists of Ulda? The Monarchists are going to be helping? Really? All in all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Legend holds the, Ar the Archons to be 12 in 1 and 1 in 12. For that reason, our Grand Endeavor is called Operation Archon. Countless free companies have pledged their swords to join us on the day. At long last, all of Erosia is rising as one. Before the Scions shall work in concert with the Grand Companies, Ida, Pal Pal Palimio, and, Yosh and Yishtola pray accompany your respective organizations on their missions. Arangar, I would have you present us, represent us in Ulda. Reassure the financiers that they made a sound investment, and when that is done, pray return here and aid with co with coordination of all of our forces. Tataru, please assist Arangarn anywhere you are able and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Infilia, Sid, and I shall accompany the main host in our advisory capacity. It will be to our task to analyze intelligence as it comes into our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As often I'll mention that you are to lead an, the, uh, the elite unit of adventurers whose task will be to see each Operation Archeon, 
Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours, of course, is the most important of all, and like of all, and most likely the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well, and not stint in your preparation. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of a united Erosa. Eosia, my bad. I've been saying Erosa the entire time. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Prayer reports in the Moral Flames encampment situated to the north of here when you're ready to be briefed on your first mission. Cannot stress enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. <laughs> Operation Archon. All right, let's go. I'm so enjoying this chat. I'm so glad I picked up this game now. I'm so, so glad. You are come well, so you can say of the Scions. As a communications officer, it falls to me to ensure you the ensure you, ensure to ensure you your orders and provide guidance on forthcoming missions. Your first mission is to infiltrate the Imperial outpost of Cape of Cape West Westwind and eliminate Prefectus Prefectus Re Retalian Sans Arvan Arvina. All participating units are now in position, awaiting your arrival. Please proceed to the staging point. It's so our first step to purge the purge the realm of the Garly menace. I shall pray for your success. Let's roll. It's go time. Yeah, don't even bother messing with me. I got no time for fates. I got a I got a realm to save. chat oh I really want to get something to eat I'm so hungry I'm so hungry chat so you're Sue Kaseya a fearless adventurer who's lead the assault we've been expecting you the mails our mails from friends report that Rehatanian sounds arena dispatched Karstium Ossidens Os a bell ago and sure enough a convoy of Imperial airships have landed here just now the likelihood is high that our target is aboard one of the vessels. The dispatch scouts to verify his presence before we strike. Command to all units. Requesting status report. This is Antillian 1. Target has not been sighted. This is Antillian 2. Likewise, target has not been sighted. Until Tillion three, we get nothing here either. This is Antillion four, nothing to report of as of. Wait, this was our previous message. Target sighted. I repeat, target sighted. Understood. All your position. Attention, all units. This is Lieutenant Albert Cotter. Our 
first step towards Operation Arche Archeon is with us. Should we falter here, all victory of hope will be lost. There's mo no small burden, but I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves and together we stand. We'll blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow. We'll create a mul multiple diversions and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give your people your people a chance to breach their defenses. Go, Suika, and bring Rita Harn. Rita, where's the Titan's head? May, may Rhaegar give you set. May Rhaegar give you strength. Let's go, Suika. Commence diversionary maneuvers. Ikazo. Okay, let's give me a scrap before we start. I need the experience anyway. You're next. They're really making a scratch in my my uh, my bar for leveling up.
I'm not even paying attention to how much experience they even give me. experience. Five hundred experience over time. Cape West Wind. We're doing this. Cape West Wind. Come to the lights that Rita. Uh, Rita, right, Rita, Patin, Sans Arvina. Perfectus Castoronium of, of the 14th Legion, the shadows who inspect the Imperial outpost at Cape Westbend. Although native to a, tr to a territory subjugated by the Empire, Italian's prowess as a field technician has won him a great, great, a great station of a, has given a station of great authority within the Garlean military. Such a formidable enemy general will surely prove to be an obstacle to the Alliance's efforts to purge the realm of Imperial menace. For the first phase of the op Operation Archon, you've been entrusted with the mission of infiltration the Imperial Outpost and striking him down. Visor. Really? Level 50. It's not very good. I still have Darkhold in my duty finder? Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you sure to? Oh, I do. Right. Uh, go on. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Dom Dookie. You just saved me <laughs> a good amount of time. Appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying the stream, man. Oh my god, this is an eight party raid. This is a raid. Two tanks, two healers, four damage dealers. Jesus. Uh, 20 minutes till maintenance? Jesus. How long is maintenance going to be happening, Domodoki?
Maintenance for nine hours? Why? Why nine hour maintenance? That's ridiculous. Why nine hours? It appears we have unexpected guests. Where have I seen you before? Ah, yes, but that woman that fell the mighty titan. Is this the Icon Slayer? I see. The commotion is not but a diversion. Eleven hazard gas, but eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrisons at Ossidens. A bold strategy to be sure, but do you have the strength to see to fruition? Leave us. None of you will be a match for her. Send the word to Castrum Ordens. Tell them the Lemanians are coming. The Mosians are coming. It's the patch update to five to five point five eight. Gotcha. Fifteen years has come and gone since Lord Van Benregar set foot in Nerosia. It has ambition for the realm burns strong as ever as it did. You know what fuels adventure? It's a desire to free people from their suffering. The Lancia's conjured were all beset with problems, poverty, starvation, lawlessness, and strife. My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the Empire, would eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people have never enjoyed such peace and stability as we'd ever known. And yet he desires only the self same for people of this realm. Under his rule, Erosia will be free from his shackles that bind it, the shackles of false faith. There will be no feeble leaders to guide the masses, no icons to bleed the realms dry. A true peace would reign, and people would be free to live their lives without fear or persecution or, persecution or opposition. Do you doubt the word of truth of my words? I will bid you look upon me. I am no son of Garlemald, yet Lord Van Bels Balsar, Balasar saw so fit to raise me as a, as, as a station of great honor. He measures a man, but not by birth, but by his worth. Such a sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, where I was born and meant to be, on the field of battle. He's given me a noble purpose to fight for, and worthy adversaries to smite. I'm not worthy to bear my steel needlessly, but if you're deaf to reason... In the name of Lord Balsar, I, Ritian, Sons of Vina, will strike you down. Oh boy. Resistance stuns, gotcha. That was fast. That was very fast. Forgive me, I have failed you. Lord Balsar! Wow, that was fast. I was expecting like a dungeon and stuff. Nothing, just obliteration. That lice. The Magitech transporter. Is there a guy there? What news of Rit uh, Ritatayan? Fallen? This deed. 
You've so you've sown the seeds of our ultimate victory. The fitting of the light that presages an end to the fitting of that light presages an end to the Empire's tinnery. Ritatan Ritatan Sans Arvina is no more. Let the next operation of opera Next phase of Operation Archeon commence. Hell yeah. Tis I. Sees you've done it again, Suika. I raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we got no time to save for the victory. There's still a smaller matter of infiltrating Castrum Mid Mirandium and destroying the Ultima weapon. I know, I know. The rest of the prematurely get the pre <laughs> pre preternaturally gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make yourself to the Mortal Flames encampment. The communications officer will issue your orders. We'll be waiting for you with the main host. Look, Hylan, your minion comes, bearing the light. Alas, the gate to the void already stands open, and soon darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down to the one true god. Damn you, La Habreta. Stop jumping in and laughing menacingly. He did. Perfect Perfectius? Slain? Regrettably so, my lord, at the hands of the Icon Slayer, if the Centurion who survived the attack is to be believed. Resitan. Where were his men when he faced the enemy? Fleeing as if their, their commander yielded his last breath? If it, is, should it, be, if it should prove the question is right. I, I cannot speak for them, my lord. Beg pardons, my lord, but there is more. The Maelstrom has laid siege to Castrum Orsidens. Likewise, the Crimson Feet moves the block in Castrum Marinium. The Anki, so this is their answer. Very well, we shall crush them as we crush the icons. Move forth and show them the futility of the resistance. Yes, my lord. He menacing. He very menacing. Or to the communications officer. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can't say ya. Your deeds this day dare an inspiration to us all. With the death of Perfectius, Operation Arcan has moved into second phase. As we speak, the Maelstrom moves to blockade the Castrum, Ossidians, and Castrum Marinium. In the far east, the Black Shroud, the Order of the Twin Adder, advances upon Castrum Orines. Already, you have done much to advance our cause, performing such feats are worthy of song. But if our plan is to succeed, more is required of you. Let me know when you when your preparations are in order. I shall relay you to the particulars of the next mission. Hold, oh, please. Uh, free company.
Well, if it's 15 minutes till the end, then I suppose I should stop. All right, the ally community yourselves in the attacks and will be performed by the hero of the alliance. Based on the operation is presently in motion. Our brothers and sisters of Maelstrom are holding it against their own their own against Carlene forces on Villabrand and Rohatano Sea. Ere long, the third place will begin, and you will take the field once more. Their mortal flame shall strike at Carisium Meridium in a way in a way of a diversionary maneuver. All the Garlings are locked in battle. You are to infiltrate the stronghold and bring down the match deck that surrounds the Praetorium. The staging point for the mission lies in the shadow of the ca of the Castrium Meridium in the northern Thanalan, and that is where you must go. On your way there, however, I would ask you to brief stop by Camp Blue Fog, one of our outposts in the key area. The garrison, I've been told, is in low spirits. It would do the troops well to see the hero of Cape, of Cape Westwind appear before them. For the good of our cause, please stroke the fire in their hearts. As much as I'd like to go for another two hours and possibly even finish the, the story mode chat, if it's 15 minutes till the end, then... I guess we should sit and we should uh, sit this one out and then come back tomorrow. If it's maintenance for nine hours, then that'll be until I wake up. So. Anyway, I hate cutting the stream quote unquote short, but thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Do me a favor if you're enjoying this kind of content we're doing on the channel, do me a favor and drop a follow. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to support the stream, please consider supporting the stream. I would, uh, I'd appreciate that too. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Back in tomorrow. With more of the shenanigans. It's always a scratching from the chimp, and I'll see you guys next time.